Okay. Now we will discuss some other examples. For example, I have told that this Riemann reaction happens on electron-rich nucleus. That is phenomenal. Okay. So since consequently the question comes, will it be possible in case of aniline or thiophenone? Because we know due to resonance, this delocalization, this aniline or thiophenone, both are electron-rich. So will it produce same product? Actually, the answer is not. Here the product is, we know, salicylate means the major product, CHO, orthohydroxybenzaldehyde. But here, this, this reaction will produce isocyanate. This N triple bond C minus plus. This reaction is known as carbylamine reaction and this is one of the detection tests for this amine, means aniline. Okay, so this producer is a very bad smell. This is, I shall explain this in a different reaction, different video, complete details. And what produces this thiophenol? This thiophenol produces tri-substituted, means, so tri-substituted, tri thiolated so all these three produces different reaction. Question is why? The question, it is true that all the reaction goes through this dichlorocarbon intermediate. And this dichlorocarbon intermediates reacts every case differently because. Why here as I told earlier this soft soft interaction with this benzene ring attached here and oxygen is harder so dichlorocarbon will not prefer to attach to oxygen. But in case of nitrogen, nitrogen is relatively less harder compared to oxygen. And that's why instead of going uh, instead of going to attach this carbon carbon by breaking the aromatics in an aromatic uh, stabilization uh, breaking, it, it don't prefer to break this aromatic stabilization, it reacts with this nitrogen attacks directly CCL2 and ultimately hydrolyzes to produce this isocyanate. And finally, in case of thiophenol, thio thiol is a soft center, carbene is a soft center. So and if reaction happens here, I, as I told that aromatic stabilization will lose. So consequently, this thiol attacks the dichlorocarbon directly. Okay. And finally produce this. So first attack is this negative charge. So negative charge will be take proton one unit. Fine. After that, this sulfur means, what do I mean this? SPH CCL CL. Then this sulfur will push its electron to go and ultimately it produces this and we, we know that sulfur has a tendency to push its electron and it can hold the positive charge better compared to oxygen. So from this and right now this is a more electrophilic center and in reaction medium there are soft nucleophile this thiol. So another molecule of thiol will attack here and this will be neutralized. Similarly, this process will happen once more to push this chlorine and finally the product will be this. So in this way, these three nucleus react differently. So this is formally the end of discussion of basic Riemann-Tieman reaction with mechanism. In the next video, I shall give you some examples, different type of examples about Riemann-Tieman reaction. So if you like my teaching, please give a like and subscribe my channel chemistry the history of molecules and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video i upload so see you in my next video